Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and quick review of the E-Element Z88 Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. The most unique feature of the Z88 that we're taking a look at today is that it uses brown switches as opposed to the much more popular blue switches. If you guys remember, about a year ago we reviewed the truly ergonomic keyboard, also known as the Tech, that was a $200 mechanical keyboard that also used the same switch design. So brown switches are much more convenient if you you are typing in a library, if you're using it uh, in an environment where there's going to be people around you because it doesn't produce quite as much noise. Uh, it's almost silent and sounds about the same as any other a normal membrane keyboard, which is the benefit. Um, at the same time, we still have the tactility and the responsiveness of a real mechanical dome and a switch. The Z88 also has a very compact design. It's almost uh, bezel-less or frameless, so it has an 81 key layout. It's compact, it's easy to take with you, and it's a USB plug-and-play device that works with both Mac and PC alike. Like most of these keyboards, it's also RGB backlit, so you have 10 different lighting modes to play around with if you want to customize uh, the overall lighting effect for in the dark use. Uh, the unit sells for about 50 bucks on Amazon, so pricing is also fair. In fact, it might be uh, you know, a pretty good value considering that other brown switch keyboards uh, tend to go for a bit more. And that's mainly because of a supply and demand issue where blue switches, which are louder, uh, are more popular. And since they're used more, uh, the price is a little bit lower. So brown switches really is, uh, again, what sets this apart. So there's an instruction manual inside the packaging here. You can see it's uh, documented both in English as well as in Chinese. And here we have a few different accessories. There is a keycap remover, so you can use this to pop uh, up individual keys without damaging them. And what's interesting here is that we also have what looks like a few of uh, you know the replaceable domes for the keyboard for the keys themselves. So in case the switches break, uh, what's underneath the keys, you can even replace it with uh, these, which are included. This is kind of unusual. I've never seen this included with a budget-oriented mechanical keyboard before, but you can see this is a very modular design. Not only can the keys be replaced, but even the switches and the domes can be replaced. What it does omit is a dedicated numpad. That means if you are, uh, let's say, entering numbers into a spreadsheet, then there are probably better options available. Uh, with that being said, construction quality for such a small, petite keyboard is still excellent. We have access to in a full aluminum um, deck underneath, so everything feels you know pretty hefty in the hand. There's also chamfered edges, which is uh, a design state of E element and on here it adds a touch of uh, something premium as you can see. Uh, looking from the side there's a slight dip towards the center like most of these keyboards so you have a slightly better posture when you're typing and it helps you improve accuracy and prevents your fingers from um, you know getting tired as easily. On the back you have access to rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around and there's also access of course to the stands which you can pop up for elevated typing and you can see here that on, like most of uh, the uh, manufacturer's other keyboards, the cable here is completely detachable, which is one of the uh, ad design uh, advantages of E-Elements keyboards in general, is that detachable, modular uh, overall finish. So not only is the cable detachable, the keys are detachable, even the switches are detachable. So this really allows you to both customize and prevent you from having to replace everything if something dies. The wire that is included has a thick rubber coating that prevents it from tangling, and it also has a durable gold-plated connector. It's uh, pretty easy to, to attach onto any USB port of a computer. Afterwards, without any drivers, you can see it's booted up without any issues at all. If we kind of dim the lights here, you can see the backlight becomes a bit more visible. By default, what's interesting is that E-Element has pushed all the keys to a dramatic red, and there's also a green for the caps lock key. Um, overall, it remains, again, pretty easy to see, especially under slightly darker environments, and it casts a relatively even glow. Um, I like the fact that they chose a slightly different color here. For adjustments, you can tap on function up and down to change the brightness. There's actually four different modes. This is the dimmest, and this is the brightest. I can also tap plus and minus to change the speed if I'm in a mode where everything is reactive. Uh, I can also tap on function and page down to change into the different uh, kind of uh, light effects. And again, there are 10 of those. So tapping on it once, we can change into uh, kind of a green light. Tapping on function, page down again. We have a mapped one just for gaming. So the escape, uh, ASDW, and the arrow keys are lit. And function, 
page down once more, we go into this uh, slightly strobing effect where it just gently goes through all the rainbow colors. Function page down again is the reactive mode. So now if you're typing, you can see everything will only pop up for a split second and then disappear uh, when you're done. So this is a pretty colorful one. Not the most practical if you're in the dark already, but a fun one as a conversation starter with friends. Function page down again, we go into a rippling effect. Uh, this is one of those that you can change the speed if you want to. And then function page down again is uh, kind of this classic moving animation that you typically see uh, on most of these keyboards when they first boot up. Um, again, a pretty nice uh, display mode. From here, we can see that each of the keys do have uh, different colors that they can be programmed to. So it is uh, more advanced than some keyboards which only have one type of LED underneath a key. And then uh, every single time the key will only go to that certain color. On here, you can see it's changing and dynamic. Function page down again uh, is another reactive one, but this time uh, the entire thing ripples outwards. Function page down again, and this one is another reaction, except the one that you're typing on is dark, except the ring around it will light up, which is uh, pretty fun. Function page down again, and now we're in this uh, vertically scrolling uh, animation. Function page down again turns everything off and then back to red. Taking a closer look at the keys, we do have a pretty typical design. There's not anything uh, too out of the ordinary here. All the symbols and the font sizes are also uh, pretty typical for E-Element keyboards. Um, with that being said, you can see some slight differences stylistically in how the caps lock and the fonts are displayed. There's a dedicated number row in the top, in addition to function keys that doubles as media controls. Uh, so those are shortcuts that you can access on a Windows or a Linux computer. Um, so again, pretty clean. Now let's uh, talk a little bit more about the performance. Uh, the spacebar here feels very even, so uh, you can see that there are three switches. It evenly distributes the weight. No matter where you're typing or clicking down, it feels even, and that also extends to the regular keys. The sensation across all the domes feels consistent, so it gives you a pretty good typing experience. Um, immediately, you can hear how silent this uh, brown switch keyboard is, whereas a blue switch, uh, so I'm going to give a quick demonstration now, sounds like this, quite loud and clicky. On this brown switch, you can hear how everything is, again, very quiet. Um, it also has a slightly different sensation. It doesn't bounce back at you or spring back, I think, with as much force as a, a, a blue switch per se. Uh, with that being said, it still feels uh, much better than any membrane keyboard or island chiclet style keyboard that you may have on a laptop. And now for a closer uh, look at the audio, if we just uh, do a quick typing test here. So that is the over so overall sound that it produces, again, compared to something like this. And so you can hear that difference between the two. Um, overall, compared to the tech or the truly ergonomic keyboard, although both are using the same design on paper, this feels a bit more precise uh, in the typing. Um, I think that uh, blue switches, for me, uh, it, it at least gives the illusion that you can type a little faster because you can sync the, the tactility, the experience on the fingers with the sound, and sometimes that helps you, uh, you know, at least believe that you're getting at a rapid uh, speed. But in practice, I found that I got a very similar words per minute count on both this and a, another traditional blue switch keyboard. So the speed and accuracy really isn't a problem and I got used to this just by a few minutes of typing. Overall, it's very comfortable to use. Again, we have all the benefits of a traditional mechanical keyboard here. With everything being removable, you can wash it, uh, you can replace it, it will last you for many times longer than a membrane keyboard because of the design uh, and the fact that because of the switches, you don't have to exert quite as much force. You're only applying a little bit of force and the entire thing springs down and goes back up. So once you get used to it, you can uh, of course, a, a type with less energy and you can type longer and faster. So as always, if you're someone who does a lot of typing, a lot of essays, a student, someone who games a lot or programs and codes, it really is worth investing in a mechanical keyboard. I can't emphasize this enough. Uh, not only an RGB one because it makes the entire desk setup seem very cool and futuristic, but because the typing experience can really increase your uh, speed and precision, uh, which will improve your efficiency in all types of work. Um, 
So is the Z88 with round switches perfect? I would say there are a few nuances. Um, for one, I think that the backlight could still be a little bit brighter on this model. I've seen other uh, mechanical keyboards that have slightly brighter RGB backlights. So on here, you can see that under direct kind of lighting or room lighting, it becomes a bit more of a struggle to see and we're on the maximum brightness. But with the lights dimmed, um, it still remains visible without any issues. I also think that because the size really is so small, uh, maybe they could consider um, adding on Bluetooth as a optional feature. That would be really cool. So you can have a dual wireless and wired keyboard. But other than that, I really like the typing experience. Uh, brown switches, again, will work be best, I think, uh, when you have people around you since it really is silent, but at the same time doesn't really sacrifice on the tactility and the overall experience of using a mechanical keyboard in the first place. The design of this unit is attractive, it's sharp, and I like the fact that in the box we also have quite a few accessories in case you ever need to switch anything out. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been E-Element Z88 Mechanical Keyboard with Brown Switches.